and give us this one four, but let's move on into the next set. Here we go, losers top six, quarters, baby. Frozen fighting off against the Kill Sage. HO3K battle versus e Echo Fox. Yeah, and right now, um, no, Palutena is uh, the new flavor character, the new <laughs> flavor top tier. Yeah, I mean, Frozen's been grinding with this character. And uh, Sage and him have not really had the chance to really play too much beyond like a couple of games. So this is gonna be like an interesting matchup we are gonna have today. The up air, double up air. And again, Frozen's definitely someone that might know the stake matchup back from like the, uh, that one game that we don't really talk about. Oh yeah, Smash 3.5? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Anyways, 90% set on Frozen. <laughs> Down tilt, again, that's gonna be his kind of punishment of choice out of shield. And these up tilts, man, killing me. Yeah, he's been on point with them. So Snake's entire game plan, you know, just wants to chill back, try to get those grenades cooking to throw against her. That was good delay from Sage. He was waiting for the, the grenade to cook behind him before going for that throw. Yeah, and the way he changed momentum with the um, grenade pull. Good air dodge, but Didn't bad air to dodge, yeah, honestly. To yeah, there's a lot of cooldown for that air directional air dodges. But it doesn't matter, just uh, up tilts him. Yeah, Sends um, him flying. Yeah, that was unsafe on hit at that, that low percent, so. Yeah, C4 is cooked. That was ex that was a great trap going from Sage. He, met, he flubbed the uh, pickup, though, because well, the pro thing was he had him all set up. He put a grenade down right there to cover neutral attack and neutral get up, a C4 in the left to cover the left, and then he just went to the right side, but then he just flubbed it after that. Yeah, yeah and. Catches with another C4, though. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, and Frozen not seeing those options. 132% on your boy Frozen. Goes for the grab. Breaks her neck a little bit. Up, wow. tilt, out of dash. This character is moving. Yeah, another, yeah, another up tilt by Frozen. Man. I mean, up, another up tilt by Sage. Yo, Sage, are you sure you want to quit this character? <laughs> he was talking about after he wanted to go snake for this tournament for the hell of it, quote unquote. And look after that, at, he was going to pick a different one. Look at all this percent Sage is tacking on. Yeah, because he has a stock lead, he's going to take trades for days. He just wants to like, he wants to spawn a grenade on top of him, hold shield, <laughs> and they both take the hit that helps out to the kill stage. As long as they're both getting hit, as long as Frozen's getting hit in the process and the kill stage stays alive, that's all he cares about. But his stock was just deleted, but he's still gonna be going for those trades, it, sitting at 0%. And he still got 12% on that trade before he died, so this is like pretty hilarious. Um, Meanwhile, he got Frozen's Palutena trying to make some comebacks. Explosive Flame's a really good projectile for her. Allows her to chill really far back, have like an instant ball of fire just spawn right in front of them. He can control where it's gonna be, either going for like a neutral one or like a smash angled one. Yeah, and I mean, right now, Palutena is within uh, this up to a percent range. Yeah, and he, he has definitely brought this back to him. He's already got him overlapping his percent. There he goes, gets the up air, not enough to get the kill on the heavyweight snake. Going for the air dodge, a little bit too far away for that forward smash to connect from Palutena. And I believe uh, uh, Sage the in because down throw back was true, I believe. He wanted the up tilt, Frozen kept to his guns, held his shield for as long as possible because he knows that uh, Sage was searching. He was fishing for that up tilt. And Frozen actually got the punish out of shield. We've seen many people beforehand try to punish that out of shield and it was not working out for him. The thing is, if he would have just held shield like he did and the kill Sage went for a grab, he would uh, Frozen would not have died. That's why he opted to just go for that. It's like, I'd rather just take the damage than risk dying by letting go of shield, you know? Okay, we're going to Yoshi's story. Yeah, and changing that music. Yeah. Uh, Yoshi's, uh, this is Melee, dude. This is actually the Melee song. Stop Bro, battle, don't you love that they gave Yoshi's um, Final Smash, the freaking ultimate from I love that, dude. That's so great. You know what else I love? Main Wolf 77 coming up with that hot sub. Thank and you so much, man. Main Wolf was here earlier. He's showing some support even when he's out of bracket, man. Dude, what a homie. But yeah, dude, Yoshi's Final Smash is just like the melee opening. It's just, it's just the, uh, it's the Lion King. Yeah. Spoilers. <laughs> if you've never seen Lion King, I guess. Yeah, bro. Uh, we should, this, the stream should be banned. Yeah, 100%. All right, so, here we go. So these platforms are actually going to allow, even though this is the kill Sage's counter pick, they're going to allow Frozen to be able to just kind of warp all over the place. They will try to get those cancels afterwards. Is, is this stage uh, smaller than battle stage, though? It, so, like, I th my my guess is that the blast zones are smaller, I think, and then the stage is a slightly bigger. Like, the platforms feel like a, like a little bit more room to run around. 
Because Battlefield's blast zones are huge. Yeah. Um, yeah, but right now, what? Did that dash attack really send him behind on hunts on the platform? My god. Okay. Got the grab. Ooh, dash attack? <laughs> and, and, you know, and stuck that C4 on the ground. Takes it. Whoa, he what, actually. Uh, what, that trait? That was that a great trait. I was listening to Palutena scream for death. Like, what is she screaming about? And then she died. So that's why. Yeah, and, and, and Sage is sitting on that platform waiting yeah. for Frozen to approach just so he can get that 21%. That is the snake gameplay, dog. You just go for the trade. Wow. Flare, Excuse me? Tack on tons that, of damage. That was 24%. Hello? Excuse me? Up tilt. Yeah, and, and, you know, the movement with Snake right now, you know, just mixing up his landing options and not letting Frozen get, like, a you know, good read on him, so it'll take a lot of percent. Going for the Nikita, drops it on him, goes for the rebound. What? A, that was a tick throw. It, excuse me? That was definitely a tick throw, that, dog. That hit Frozen and Sage grabbed him right out of him. Oh, he's going for the run back up. So oh get up attack. God. Ooh, we got that stack pushing him off. Yeah. Good read. And that's the setup. That's the, that is the He setup. does the up smash to force that. you to pick an option. And then he, he kills it, he just goes for the option that he thinks you're going to do. And he has the up tilt ready to, ready to come out. Thought he was going to roll forward. And again, we're going to see Sage going for these trades, man. Yeah. And, uh, Spawn those grenades. That dash attack is really nice. Because even if you shield it, he'll go through the shield. Yeah, it you know, crests up and it's like almost unreactable. He flies pretty far. Oh, Frozen wants that up there. And I didn't even see that C4 stuck there. Dude, I don't think Frozen did. Yeah, th so the thing about pl the platform stages and um, against Snake, that the C4s and the grenades cover so much space with the explosion that you just get clipped even when you don't think you are. Just nice like, setup! He let go of the grenade did with you? the shield! Did, okay, yo, run that back. Run, run that. Can we I run need that, that replay right now. Run that back? Hold on, hold on. That back? He drops the grenade yo, with he, the shield he, he and then got the combo afterwards with an up air. Hello? Hello? That ju hashtag just snake thing. Hello? Dog. I don't think my mom made dinner tonight, man. I don't know what's Yo, happening. One more right time. Now. One more time for me, Devin. Bro. Oh my god. Because he back aired the grenade. You see him, like, adjust his glasses, too. Like, just his plan. That's crazy. That is like, it, it, he's literally the anime protagonist. Yeah, dude. It's, this is Metal Gear Solid 6, the Ultimate Edition. But, okay, uh, we got Frozen with the counter pick here. Thinking about what stage he wants to take Mr. To Kill Sage towards. And I'm guessing To Kill Sage bans all variants of FD. Probably FD and Kalos, so if I were. Yeah. So that's where we're going to go to PS2. PS2 is also a pretty big stage. Oh, he wants to be able to pick the music. I like this. I like that people are picking songs. This is what we need in our life. I'm not like a big fan of the Pokemon series, so like I'm not uh, like I don't know too much about the music there. Yeah. But I'm sure some of them are bo uh, are bangers, you know. Like I know the Red Blue songs, you know. I I'm not gonna lie, I'm not one of those people who are like really into the music. So oh word. So I'm not sure what the music is on these stages. I just you just don't do you know what music is? Um, I'm not sure. Isn't that like a form of sound? Yes. Ooh. I'm good at getting this. Oh, here we go. <laughs> grenade. God dang it. And just the, just the grenade placement by, by the kill stage is just impressive. And you see Frozen just like, you know, fair. Just make a press stage. Okay, jump over that auto reticle. Just get it out of there. C4 standing right at the kill stage's feet. Yeah, and you know, Sage trying to bait into it. And a nice parry Whoa. into the double grenade. You always love it when you see those power shields coming out strong. It's just Sage covering all these options. Again, throwing out the up smash, and catches the back here. Yeah, baited that jump with the back, and baited that jump by jumping off stage himself. Frozen is struggling to and find man, this opening. And but right now, you know, he has, he does have Snake at 94%. And Lucina, I mean, excuse me, Palutena is pretty strong. Got the back here, trying to go for the C4 as well. Air Dodge is back onto the stage to avoid whatever follow up that Frozen was trying to do. And that dash attack. Oh, unfortunate SD coming out from Frozen. Yeah, I think uh, we're seeing certain players just like misjudge how good the air dodge is. Um, but with that being said, you know, for, uh, Frozen back airing Sage with the standard get up. Ooh, put him to sleep. Yeah, just break her neck a bit. Oh, here we go, Palutena. Yeah, man, grounded spikes. 
Oh. Back air, he's out of jumps. This could be a potential edge guard. Oh, and he ended it early. Good stuff by Sage. Yeah. Let's he let go of the Cypher as early as possible. He would have been mega dead. Setting up these grenade traps. Dash attack again. Man, Sage, Sage is setting up these grenades and covering all these options at the same time. It's like, it's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Runs up, gets the grab. <laughs> Oh, and a re-grab! Mixes him up. Excuse me? Frozen struggling. He's gonna... Ooh, good timing on Frozen's part. Abusing the iframes from the normal getup to avoid that up smash. And then putting Snake in disadvantage himself. Yeah. Here we take those. There's a C4 on that platform. He needs to watch out. This could be the turnaround. Frozen gets the up air. That's a true confirm. Yeah, and the thing about that is, like, if Sage DI is out, that's a back air. Yeah. So that's also a true confirm. So I, I guess that's he die either way. Okay, 144%. He kills it, just looking for that up tilt. Look at him. The way he's dashing back and forth. He went for it. The explosion's ready to go. Again, Sage is just gonna chill back, wait for the opening when he sees Palutena wide open for that up tilt to connect. Forward tilt. I really get that second swing. Ooh, that looks like an accidental roll coming out. Trying to apply pressure with that back air against Sage's shield. Both players, final stocks. Okay, you know, Palutena using that auto reticle to kind of stave off some of the pressure that uh, Sage's been using with the grenades. Okay, down throw back air gets Sage back off stage. And if you're going to be able to use the uh, up B to just kind of avoid the explosive flame, but this is looking like Frozen's game right now. Yeah. Sage could not get back to the stage. It ended up comboing explosive flame into explosive flame. Frozen moving on to losers semis after that set win. Yeah, I need to get it. Oh, wait, so we got uh, this is the set. Guys, remember, make sure to check out Xeno Saga 20. We got the Super Smash Brothers Ultimate monthly coming up this Saturday, December 15th. Over at 62 Orchard Street, second floor, which is where we are currently located. New York, New York. You guys find yourself in the Manhattan area. Come on down, stop on by. And what you guys